Angina is a type of chest pain that is caused by inadequate blood flow to the heart. It is often a symptom of coronary artery disease, which is when arteries that carry blood to the heart become narrowed and blocked. Coronary arteries are on the surface of the heart and bring oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. In coronary heart disease, the coronary arteries become stiff and narrow, so less blood and oxygen flow to your heart. After exercise or emotional stress, low blood flow can lead to angina, pain or discomfort in the chest, arm, shoulder, neck, back, or jaw. The direct impact of angina is on the coronary arteries in the heart. The coronary arteries blocked by plaque are not functioning as they should, and thus the heart does not receive an adequate amount of oxygen, resulting in pain. Signs and symptoms of angina include pain that may feel like a pressing, squeezing, or crushing in the chest, pain in the arms, shoulders, jaw, neck, and or back, shortness of breath, weakness and or fatigue, nausea, sweating, and dizziness. There are several different types of angina. These types are classified by their causes and consist of stable angina, unstable angina, and variant angina. Stable angina usually occurs when one exerts a lot of physical effort in a short period of time. The heart needs more blood to function, yet it is harder to get this blood when the coronary arteries are partially blocked. Thus, angina occurs. Other causes of stable angina are emotional stress, cold temperatures, heavy meals, and smoking. Unstable angina may occur at any time, not only when the coronary arteries narrow. It is caused when a blood clot forms in an area of the artery with built up plaque. Unstable angina is dangerous and may indicate an oncoming heart attack. The third type, variant or Prince Metals angina, is caused by a spasm in a coronary artery which causes the artery to narrow, bringing on chest pain. Treatment options for angina include lifestyle changes, medications, and surgeries. Lifestyle changes may help with mild angina. These changes include dietary changes, exercising, trying to lose weight, and stopping tobacco use. Medication can be used to treat angina if lifestyle changes do not work. One common medication for angina is nitrates, which relax and widen your blood vessels, allowing more blood to flow to your heart muscle. Other medications such as aspirin, clopidogrel, clostridogrel, and ticodogrelar can prevent blood clots from forming in the narrowed arteries. Several other medications used include beta blockers, statins, calcium channel blockers, and Renexa. A third treatment option is surgery and it is used to treat more severe forms of angina. Common angina surgery options are angioplasty and stenting and coronary artery bypass surgery. Angioplasty is a good way to treat chronic stable angina. Angioplasty and stenting is performed by inserting a balloon in a narrowed artery, inflating the balloon to widen the artery, and then reinforcing that area of the artery with wire mesh coil to keep it widened. The other surgery option is coronary artery bypass surgery. This surgery may be used to treat both stable and unstable angina. It is performed by taking healthy blood vessel from somewhere else in the body and attaching it around the problematic artery area so that blood may bypass a blocked or narrowed heart artery. For more information on angina, visit the Mayo Clinic online or other websites.